Hello, I hope you're doing great and thanks a lot for watching this new video. In today's video, we're going to work on the AWS landing zone that you can see here with the design and the Terraform code. We are going also to help you set up your own account on Brandboard by inviting your team members to join the organization, creating different projects and creating different teams. And then we are also going to design your own CI/CD workflow to do automated check on your Terraform scripts. So let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is I'm going to show you how you can use this infrastructure as a template. So you go to the template catalog here, and then to use it, you simply need to clone the template into a new architecture. Once you have done it, you have the design and your Terraform files. For example, here, we have split our Terraform resources into multiple files. You see the private, for example, here, show the group. You have these resources with the Terraform code. If you want to look at how, for example, we have configured the root table, then you simply need to open the ID count. You have the required parameter, the advanced configuration, so you can configure it the way you want. The extra attributes with, for example, the meta arguments of Terraform count depends on and for each. Here we are in the private.tf. For the public.tf, you have these resources with the Terraform code as well. And then you have the main.tf here. So you can also find, for example, the variables that we have created. So to create your own variables, you simply need to go to input. And here you can create variables either at the organization level, project, environment, architecture. For example, here for the VPC seeder, you have the name, the scope, the type, for example, here string, then default and the description that we have added. For example, for the private subnet, you have another type which is map then you have the default and you can add the description as well if you want so now i'm going to show you how you can invite your team members to join your organization you go to members then here you invite them by specifying their email address their roles and then you can create different teams for example, here at Brainboard, we have created the team Cloud Architect, DevOps, Security Squad, and DevOps and Architects. So here, simply need to specify the name, who will be the admin, and who will be the members of this team. Now, you can go and create different projects. Here, for example, we have created the project Brainboard Trainings, Security Strategies, and Cloud Strategies. For each project, you have the team and the environment. So here name specify the name that you want the teams and the environment that you would like to create now that you have done that you can go back to the design and here you are going to see how you can structure the way you work with your team we have different project brand board trainings brand cloud architectures and for example use cases then here in each project you have different environment from dev to staging and in each environment for example you have different architectures infrastructures so here let's say we are working on this one simply need to modify the name then here you have the status of the architectures from work in progress to locked then you can add the description the tags and then you also have the information on when it was created updated so now we go back here we do the update first and we go back to the architecture so now for example here if you want to look at the backends you can look at it here but you can also set up your own remote backend on brand board here you have either s3 aws s3 azure blob storage brand board backend you can also here set up your own credentials by specifying the name, the access key ID and the access key. You can also set up 
your integration with GitHub, Azure DevOps, Bitbucket, and GitLab. For example, here for GitLab, choose the name, the base URL, and the token that you would like to use. If we look, for example, at another file, let's say, for example, the providers, you have the providers here that you can configure. You can find it here. And then you can modify or you can write your own and customize your own Terraform um, configuration block. Here are all the resources that you can use to either modify or simply configure another resources here that you can add. I was showing you here, for example, I look at this resource. I have it in the Terraform code here. I open it, I have the ID count, and like I was showing you before, you have the required parameter, advanced, extra attributes as well. Now, for example, I was showing you the integration because you can create your pull request on Brainboard by using GitHub, Azure DevOps, Bitbucket, and GitLab. Here, you choose the project. For example, if I choose GitLab, you choose your project, your base branch, the title that you want, and then you can add a description, and then you can create your own pull request from Brainboard. Now we go to the deployment. Here you can do either one action, meaning you can either do Terraform validate, plan, apply, or destroy, but you can also design your own CI CD workflow on Brainboard. This is what we're going to do. Here, for example, you have new workflow so here it's aws landing zone workflow you choose the name that you want here we do terraform first validate i was showing you before in one action that you could do validate plan apply or destroy meaning you can also provision your own infrastructure from brainboard here validate i give it a name And here I add Terraform plan. Again, I give it a name. Now, for example, let's say that you would like to look at the cost of this infrastructure. Simply need to use infra cost. Here, cost estimation. You add your API key. And here you can do either a breakdown or a diff. We will do the breakdown. Here, for example, you can send either a Slack notification or an email. Here, for example, I will send an email. Notify FinOps team. You can choose if you have if you don't have a FinOps team, then you have someone who take care of the budget of your infrastructure. Here, for example, I can choose just an example I can put myself. And here I will add a reminder, please check the budget of this infrastructure. So here you could have chosen, for example, another team member. For me, just an example here. Now let's say that you would like to use TFSEC here for security team so here put here you can also ignore the failure include the ignore or include the pass here we don't modify anything else and now for example we add an email now for example in the email it could be task so here notify security team here I can choose, for example, Benjamin and board.co. Here, please check the security requirement of this infrastructure. 
here I can require approval as well if I want. But here we will not do it. And then we have designed our workflow that you can see here with the Terraform validate, Terraform plan, cost estimation, Dauphin Ops team will receive an email, security team, and then security team will receive an email. Once we have good with this design, we save the workflow. As you can see, workflow updated successfully, and we run the pipeline. So here you have the status of each task. You have running, scheduled. So here you will have the output. Terraform has been successfully initialized. The success configuration is valid. Terraform plan is running. Here it succeeded. You will have 21 resources to add, zero to change, zero to destroy. This is the output that you have here with the remote backend of the S3. Here, the cost estimation. You have the name, the monthly quantity unit, the monthly cost, and here, the overall total cost. Now we have the security team so here security check so here no problem detected job succeeded it means that if this infrastructure is cost efficient and secure for you to deploy they have received an email here so if we are happy with this design here we have the status succeeded the id the pipeline who initiated it and then the date then here if we want, we can convert this design into a reusable template. For example, here, let's say that we would like to use a template that one of our team members has created. Here, for example, full battery, we will use this one. And then, as you can see, we have the Terraform plan, the InfraCost, Shekhov, TFSec, TerraScan, and OPA. We also have the webbook with, for example, Jira, Slack, the email. Here, apply on approval. So it means it needs to be approved for the infrastructure to be provisioned. And then the Slack notification. So you're also able to use and to build your own template catalog that you can see here. So I hope this video has been useful for you. And if you have any questions, I will be happy to build your own use case with you. Have a great day.